So strength, strength, being strong, is usually seen as a physical attribute, especially Western society. Western society? In America. Especially in America. It's the best way to put it. Say Western society, I feel like there's this weird distance between you, the viewer, wherever you're watching this. But Google, not Google, YouTube Analytics says it's primarily United States. Western society, though, it's primarily seen as a physical trait. Culture, growing up, social norms. It's a, it's a physical thing. Being strong, it's a physical thing. And that reminds me of a book I'd come across where they had talked about the concept of power and that power, the English language was the only language that power, the word power, the concept of power existed by itself. It's just power. In a lot of other languages, it's power with is the way it's talked because they said you can't have power just yourself as one person. You have to have, there's a relationship you have to have power. You have to have power. You can't have power by yourself as one entity. And you need to have someone else, at least one other party to have that power with. And it's something that's shared between the two of you. So more people together generate a larger pool of power that's attributed to the person that group collectively feels most capable, apt, best hands of like the most capable of holding, wielding, and sharing that with the other people in the group, including the person himself or herself, themselves, that has the power themselves. And it's not the, the, the other aspect of it where the mental aspect of power, the mental aspect of strength, doesn't get talked about quite as much and one thing I'm going to focus on today in particular is the aspect of where it's talking about forgiveness right and forgiveness is easier to do with perspective if you look at things a certain way if you look at things where like a lot of shit doesn't really matter it's easier to look at things, it's easier to forgive someone if you look at it through the perspective of a lot of shit that society might tell me matters doesn't really fucking matter. It doesn't really make a goddamn difference, you know. And that mental aspect, it's been trivialized, it's been downplayed a lot, um, you know, men don't cry, boys don't cry, you know. It's really, it's something, I'll say. It's really something. But going to the lengths of not being vulnerable, not showing weakness, anything that could be perceived as weakness. And I feel everyone suffers. Everyone involved suffers because of that. So... I'll cut it here, but the strength thing, I really want to see some more respect given to non-physical strength. 